Today, we make some noise. This is our previous scene. We also used it in our ongoing character controller series, see playlist and description. I modified the scene a little bit this time by making our player a little bit bigger. He can still move and jump and do all these things, but he does not have any sound. Today we changed that. We have two sound files in this tutorial in a folder that are already created under resources. We have audio. In there we have game music and we have a wooden thud sound effect. Okay, let's first add a sound effect to our player. Select my player here and I go to the player scene. Every time the player jumps, I want to play this sound here. So I need to add a child note. When I type in audio, I can find three different kinds of notes. The audio stream player plays sound that is not spatial. Your location in the game does not matter. Then there is audio stream player 3D and audio stream player 2D. They play spatial 3D or 2D audio. I'm going to add a 3D audio node here. And in the inspector, I can now see there is a stream property that is empty. I'm going to attach my MP3 file to this stream and I can see the waveform appearing here now. Now we have the sound effect coupled with a node that exists in 3D. More specifically, it is attached to the position of the player. We do that because the sound effect is caused by the player. Make sense? Okay, next we want to play that sound every time the character jumps and lands on the ground. And for that, you have to go to the script. We have here our third person player Godot script. And if you want to understand what that all means, please have a look at the character controller series that I'm going to link in the description and the playlist. But all the way down here, there is a state where the player is landing and here I want to play the sound. So here I'm placing some extra code in addition to what I have. I want to call this node here, the audio stream player 3D and basically play. But I also don't want it to interrupt if it's already playing. So I only want to play when it's not already playing. That's what this line here means. I save that and I play that. And here we go. And just in case your sound repeats, select the sound, go to import, and make sure that loop is off. If you change that, you would have to re-import. Okay, let's play some background music. We first switch back to our world and actually to our world scene. And here we want to add a new child node. This time we pick an audio stream player. We want to rename that to music player. Music player. Again, we have a stream here that is empty and we attach our game music to it. We can see the waveform now. Now here, we're going to add some code. We call a function called play music, which basically does the same thing what we had before. We'll just tighten that up a little bit, save that and we could play it. Okay, and this is very, very loud. So uh, how can we make that a little bit more balanced? So one quick way to fix this is to go into the inspector of the music player and say, I want to reduce my volume in decibel by, let's say, minus 30, by reducing it quite a bit. And then I go over to my third person player, take the audio stream player and increase the unit dB. That is, according to the description, the bass sound level unaffected by dampening. And I want to increase that by, let's say, a gigantic 30 to make that a lot louder. I save that and play again. Now I have a very mild music in the background and a very loud stomp from my player jumping. Of course, there is a lot more about audio. For example, audio buses or mixers, sound effects and changing sound with code. But this is for another video, as it would well expand over our five minutes. If you want to hear more about audio, 
pun absolutely intended, please let me know. I hope this was useful, and if so, do your thing, and as always, mind yourself and see you soon.